things that uh, we struggle with is if we uh, need to get something like a bag of dog food, we gotta drive 70 miles to uh, Vizcaino. So of course, Tracy and I went to Vizcaino a couple days ago and we forgot to get dog food. So here we are going to get dog food. We said, hey, let's make the most of it and we're gonna drive the 70 miles out to Vizcaino and then do a loop out to Punta Abriojos in La Volcana and we're gonna get some mariscos and then we're gonna come back on the treacherous coast road. We scored on this day with the vegetables. We plan on just coming to get dog food, but we got some chicken food. We got some cauliflower. We got lettuce. What else we got, Mika? Apples. Um, again, it's always a surprise. So we got our stuff in this kind of, got some burritos. <laughs> delicious and now we're driving out to Punta Abriojos and La Volcana and we're just amazed how different the landscape is here from driving from Asuncion to Vizcaino we're not that far maybe I don't know 50 miles south of that road <clears throat> and it's just completely different All right, we're pulling into Punta Abriojos. I honestly don't know a whole lot about this town. I've stayed, I've camped here once or twice. Uh, I know there's a lot of Americans that have houses here because it's really good surf. And I know that on the beach, there's a lot of flies. I've experienced them and that's kind of what everyone else talks about. But like I said, the surf's supposed to be really good. So we're gonna check it out real quick and then Head down for some lunch in La Bocana, which is just north of here. Let's go get Mika some mariscos and mommy a margarita. Let's go. Ready? No, say hi to the YouTube people, Mika. Woohoo! Mika, we're not gonna do the letters today. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Okay. And mommy's thirsty. Don't even start. This is well, they're the letters. You have to imagine what they look like. All right, we made it. You hungry, Mika? Oh, I've missed it here. So, uh, what's the verdict on a margarita? When you need like two hands to drink it, it's kind of a good thing. Yeah, this guy uh, over here is making some good, good margaritas. This place never treats us wrong, right, Mika? Agua chiles. Back in the day, they used to have a Mika, you get the chicken tenders. These are for me. What do you think, Mika? Oh, it's basically just soy sauce. We should get that at the house. Mmm. I'm gonna try it. Tenemos la vista al mar. Este, tenemos el producto fresco, eh, como el abulón, el pescado del día. Tenemos en la temporada tenemos la langosta. Eh, muchas veces caracol y mucha variedad de de marisco. Pero hay buena comida en la restaurante, sí. Excelente. Excelente. Sí. Sí. Y, y buen margaritas. Buen margaritas. <laughs> okay, gracias. 
Okay, gracias. Do whatever you want. Hey there. You often don't see me. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving. Uh, La Bocana. Bocana Adventure. Um, every time we come here, oh my gosh, we have such a good meal. Um, holy cow, really good margaritas. They're always good, but my goodness, today they're a little better than a normal. Yeah, it's a pretty rough road home from here. And Zach was like, oh, can we get him to go? And I was like, don't ask that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's Mexico. Just such a small world. Um, so the interview we did with the bartender, everybody knows everybody around here. Um, oh yeah, do you know since Oh yeah, I'm related to Ben Hameen. Oh, Ben Hameen that uncle. works for Sapa, the water. Oh yeah, it's my uncle. <laughs> just because the road's bad, doesn't mean don't do it. Just make sure your car's capable. Uh, people do it all the time. Um, it's rough, but that is how you're supposed to travel Baja. I'm so tired of all these people complaining about the potholes or this or that. Baja was always meant to travel it as it's supposed to be traveled. If you have a lot of potholes, slow down. If you have good road, enjoy it. If you know there's gonna be cows, slow down and be prepared yeah. for it. But take the day for what it offers you. Don't try and plan the day. Um, I, I really think that's my best advice for living down here or traveling down here is don't try and put your preconceived ideas on what it's supposed to be. Let the day unfold. Um, you know, if the day is supposed to be drinking margaritas um, and eating seafood, make it happen. So one of the main fisheries that we have in Bahia Asuncion, this whole era, is abalone. It is something that was way overfished in the United States, in California. Um, but in Mexico, they're very, um, I don't wanna say they're very, they control it a lot. And they have these areas here where they grow the abalone from uh, seed. Uh, here we are on the bumpy road. This road always sucks. But I'll tell you what, um, the people of La Bacana, Puta Breos, this whole area is a work the rough road. Normally we, <laughs> the road, goes over there where all the water's at. Well, I guess the road goes here too, but we normally take that road over there. But the hurricanes of the last two years um, have changed things here. After you leave La Bocana with good food and good margaritas, it's all good. Right? Yeah. Gotta say. <laughs> Walk through it or something. Look at the tire tracks. Zach, can you go check it out? Look at the tire tracks. The tire tracks are now. What they're think? probably stopping there. Zach, can you? Hang on. Mika, what do you think? We die or yeah, if we film. lose if we lose our Out the window. Oh, we've been filming this whole time. Out the window. down. 